Hello friends, a very warm welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today we are going to work with Uber Eats application episode 6 where we are going to redesign our onboarding screens which we created earlier on and we are going to use Wi-Fi GS this time. Earlier we were using Ion Slides. So, so this is what we are going to do in this particular video and before getting started I would like to tell you one more thing that a new offer is launched today which will run for 5 days in my Ionic complete guide where you will learn from Ionic 5 to Ionic 6 all the things and you will learn how to make big applications from beginner to advanced level everything is included out there just go and check that out links are there in the description if you want you can have that up and if you have already taken it there are a lot many updates that are going on just check that out if you have missed something so with that being said let's get started with our today's video in this lecture we are going to continue with our uber eats application series episode 6 where we are going to redesign our onboarding screens with the help of swiper.js so let's see how that can be done so if you are not following the uber its application series then you watch the full playlist the link is available in the description you can check that out and get all the source code up till here from that particular videos all right so with that being said let's get started with our video so out here you can see we have implemented the iron slides so i am simply going to remove all of it actually so let me remove it and we are going to redesign it up now you will see this will get empty and in fact in my typescript also i am going to remove whatever we are using out here for the animation and other stuff let me just comment it up for the time being all right now in order to use swiper.js you have already you already know now what things we need to do right so what i'll do now i'll just go to the home page and in the home page typescript i'm going to copy this stuff that's what we need right and go back to my intro page and out here let me just wait and out here i'm going to paste all right now this popover is not needed i'll remove it this is fine swiper options let me make slide options to be swiper options swiper options all right this is done now we don't need the autoplay so i'm simply going to remove and in fact i don't need the pagination also so this too i'll remove it or pagination let's give it I think we need the pagination autoplay instead of autoplay we can have keyboard which we have already used right you know that or if you do not know you can just check that out right now one when we implement it up now after that we also need the effect queue so i'll just have it and it got imported automatically now if you are new to this particular video and you haven't followed up the earlier videos for swiper.js let me just show you up what i'm doing right now so out here let me go for swiper.js all right this is the website and for angular well slash angular if you pause you will enter the angular documentation out here all right at first you need to install it up and then let me show you what all things you need to so go to global.scss and out here i have already imp imported the css bundle which you need to do to work with that and after that for pagination bullet color and i don't think any so yeah this is the whole designing stuff which we have done earlier on and then we are good to work with whatever i'm doing right now you can just follow that up all right if i just search for keyboard well this is in the modules and you can implement that up but let me search for cube so i need to work with this cube effect for that you can see there is a link out here i'll click on this link new tab i'll open it up because i want to see what all effects are there so that we can implement that up very nicely all right this is the cube effect if i scroll down this is the one and if you just swipe it just check this out how this is looking all right so this is fine let's implement that up quickly so i'll go to the intro page again and out here let me first build the design all right so in the html what i'm going to do i'm going to have the swiper tag which you can directly use but we need to import it up in the module so for that what i'll do I'll go to the intro.module.ts file and out here we need to use swipe module. As you can see, suggestion is coming up and I'll import it. Now once that is imported, we are good to use it up. Now you can see the error is gone, right? And how am I getting the design? Well, if you just go out here and look for any design, well, this is the design that is being working. All right. So we can work with the ng container or ng template. You can use whatever you want. I'll be using ng template so I'll just simply copy this stuff and have it within this and now 
in order to pass the options well we are passing the options from our type script so again we have to work with the config so there is a attribute called config out here for swiper.js or component i would say within that i can simply pass slide up all right now out here in the ng template what am i going to do let me break it down i'm going to have a div out here so a div now within this div i'm going to use use ng style for passing our background image so within this we can simply pass object and within that the CSS we can directly pass it out here which has to be passed within the single code because we are using double quotes out here if I give double quotes out here it's gonna be pretty bad as this is a string so now background image which will be equals to in this particular manner we have to give just like we do it in SCSS or CSS right now within that URL and in the URL I'm going to pass asset slash imgs slash what is the name of the file I just forgot all right I think it is screen one screen two screen two. fine screen one dot png that's what I'm going to have out here and now it looks ready for me I think so now out here you can see an error is occurring well it is saying that this config is not readable so I think uh, out here if I just give this one I think an empty object I think the error will go away let's check it out now as you can see the error is no more shown out here so that's how we can tackle that error and in the animation as this function was already new so what I'll do out here well I'll be simply using this stuff so let me uncomment it up my many animation thing gone all right I have uncommented it now I'm just going to comment this on part all right well this is done now we can directly use this slide ops so out here instead of in this slide ops what options we are going to give let me give pagination which will be an object where i need to pass clickable to true all right the next one it's gonna be keyboard because i want to use the keyboard so that i can move the slides using the keyboard button out here enable true let's give some spacing out here nice and after that i will pass the effect we have already imported it up so we can directly use the cube out here in this particular manner all right i think this things are enough you don't need to use this animation we'll check that out also if we give that animation what design it reflects well still it is not showing up because I have not worked with the css scss actually so let me go to the scss and out here i don't want to work with the iron slides out here what i'll do i'll simply remove everything from here and let's work with our swiper so in this swiper what am i going to do at first i'll pass height to be 100 percent so that we, it can take the full height i can just see something is showing up right but in order to work with that nicely what i'll do i will first have three ng templates one is already there two more screen two and screen three fine let's have that once that is done now you can see our chair you can see the pagination that is occurring right but you cannot see the image as of now don't need to worry we'll work with that so in this scss after doing this i'm going to work with the div that we declare right within our ng template and out there also i'll pass height to be 100 percent and background position to be center background size to be cover and background repeat to be no repeat fine once we do that you can see the image if you don't give this up well it will not be able to understand okay fine how much size it's gonna give how much is a div height or anything else so that's why we need to declare all of it up so that it can understand what sizes it needs to be taken and accordingly it will show up out here now you can see it is showing up and if i just move it you can see it is working pretty nicely right the same cube effect it is giving us now let me pass the buttons out here all right which we had earlier the skip button and other stuff so for that now within this div let me have the button so iron button where i'm going to type the text to be skip and let me have few attributes out here so fill will be clear color will be let's say light color will be better i just need that color only whitish color and when you click on that well it's gonna redirect you to go to login which is already there which we have implemented when we work with iron slides right and now you can see it is showing up but on the left side now how to get it on the right side well there that is pretty simple on this particular div i will pass a class iron text right let's check it out now you can see it is showing on the right side so that's how you can work with the classes or predefined classes i would say in ionic framework that's pretty great now i'll simply copy it up and 
paste it on the second one also because there also I'll have this skip button and I'll copy up this button also and let's break this div and pass it out all right now even the pagination color is little lightish or medium color I think that's looking nice now out here also we have the skip button now on the third one we need some other buttons right so let's work on that so within this particular div of the third slide what am I going to have out here at first I'll center up everything because I need everything in the center aligned iron tag center and within this div now what am I going to have well again I'm going to work with the iron button only where the shape will be round like earlier the color let's give it white we have already defined that up if you want to check it out let's go to variable.scss and to open that up actually I'm using the command shortcut control plus P all right if you have any doubt in that so if I just scroll down all right there is no white color actually out here maybe I didn't give it so let me use the light color instead of the white one if there is no white color right because those colors you can define also on your own out there if you want well for that you have to go to the ionic framework documentation and get that particular color if you don't want to do it yourself that will be generate it properly out if you want to know about how that can be done let me know in the comment section i'll make a separate video on that all right in fact i will have the same click event also so i'll simply copy and paste it out here this is also done within this button what am i going to have i'll have an iron text and pass the color to be primary because i want the inner text color to be a different one and the outer layer to be different not actually the layer the button color now within this text i want the text to be bold so let me pass strong tag i think that will work for this particular text and let me pass the text let's start all right let's check it out so i'll just scroll to the last one all right you can see the text is showing out out here but this is at the top so we need to transform it out here and for that I'll be using a class out here let me give a class and button let's say transform button all right and let's work on that in our scss intro page scss out here after the div or in fact now within the div I'll use this class and out here I'm going to pass transform translate in y direction because we need to align it we need to transform it vertically right so y direction this is y this is x let's see 50 vh check it out let's go to the third one all right it is at the center we need more let me give it 80 vh let's check it once again i think now it is fine and it is looking at the center also so i'm happy with that so this is properly implemented we have the functionality let's go to our typescript page and out here where was the function so this is the function go to login that's what we are using all right so let's keep it in the same manner only we won't touch that up now let's try to implement this effect and let's see where whether there is any difference in that or not implement that up so i'll uncomment it up and there is an error that is occurring all right the duration error or we cannot pass this on into our i think swiper options does not have on or what okay expected a comma it's fine now the error is gone well there is only one error it's based on this duration now there is an error out here if i just hover on that this is saying that this condition will always return true since the type swiper and number have no overlap all right so what i'll do let me try to remove it the time being and i'll pass it in the commented manner out here so that we can have that up at least let's check it out whether there is any difference or not so i'll just swipe hardly any difference right so this effect was basically used in the iron slides because they don't have the direct option of using the cube now we have the direct option of using the effect cube so we don't have to apply all this stuff so i can simply remove it up i don't need that that's how we can work with that so it's pretty simple precise and easy to work with right so our design is up and running very nicely if you just swipe it you are getting the proper options isn't it everything is working pretty nicely out here so with this we have successfully implemented swiper js into our onboarding screens and we have redesigned our onboarding screens pretty nicely so i hope you might have liked this video if you like the video please hit the like button do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that we have hit one key that is a small achievement but it feels nice sometimes right this is just a beginning we have a long way to go ahead and i need your support for that and i'll meet you pretty soon thank you